This is Lone Conspirator. Welcome to another Arma 3 editing tutorial. This is covering uh, the description.ext file, and this video will, will include the load screen commands, which include onload name, author, load screen, and onload mission. Now I'm going to assume that if you're this deep into editing that you're tinkering with the description.ext file, you're competent with the Arma 3 editor. So I won't hold your hand through every mouse click that's necessary to uh, function in the in the editor. If you do have any questions of, for the more basic stuff, please ask me in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. And if it's something that needs more in-depth coverage, I'll even create another video to uh, help explain it. Now the first part of this video will quickly go through the steps to get your load screen set up and get you on your way. So you can just go down to the, to the uh, comments area below. I have the text that you're going to see here down there. You can just cut and paste it, put it into your uh, description.ext, and set up your files as far as your folder and the images, and you should be good to go. The second part of the, the video will go more into depth, and th that includes capturing a screenshot in Arma so that you can use it and also how to resize it in Microsoft Paint. Microsoft Paint is free so that's why I'm going to go into that for anybody who doesn't know how to resize in that. You can also of course do it in Photoshop if anybody needs help with that you can post in the comments below and I'll give you a hand with that and I will uh, also make a video for that too if you'd like. Now open your Arma 3 editor single player and create a simple mission. Save it then go into that missions folder in the uh, mission folder. If you need help with creating a mission and where the folders and stuff are, uh, click on the box that just popped up to see a video that will cover that more in depth. Now in your mission folder, create a folder named pictures and create a text file named description.ext. Now from the description area below this YouTube video, copy and paste the four lines of code into your description.ext file like that. Now what you're going to have to do is either change the image that you're using to uh, image.jpg making sure that it's already a JPEG file or you can change this text to read the name of your picture. So if your picture is named airplanes then this should say airplanes.jpg. Either way um, will work. Okay. Now once you have that code saved in your description.ext, make sure you have your picture file saved or put into the pictures folder that we created earlier. And then you're going to go to Arma. Save it because things won't be updated in your description.ext until you save it both in the ext file and here in the game. So click on save, then click on preview and then you can see there's our photo. Alright, so that pretty much should get you on your way if all you were looking for is something quick uh, to, to get your load screen up. Now I'm going to go a little bit more into depth about the, uh, the code and also go into doing the screen capture. Uh, I just want to quickly go over the code. Uh, onload name, Thunderbirds, that's just basically the mission name. The author is whatever name you want to put in there could be your name, somebody that wrote it, make one up, doesn't matter. Okay, the load screen. Um, this one's kind of important that you get this correct. This has to be the name of the folder, which in our case was pictures. You have to use a left slash, not a right one. Make sure it's the left slash, which is the, uh, the one higher up, not the one on your question mark key. And then your image needs to be properly named here, and it's got to be a JPEG file. And then on load mission, is just the message at the bottom of the uh, the picture screen. Now make sure that you don't have any typos. Uh, you have all your semicolons, everything's in quotes at each end, because if you have a typo in the description.ext, it will crash Arma 3 to desktop. So if you you're having crashes, it's probably because you made some sort of a typo error or some sort of a spelling error in uh, the description.ext. Now we're going to capture a screenshot in Arma 3 that we can use 
in the load screen. So I've already got a intro mission set up so that we can uh, capture a shot. So what you're going to do is just set up your, your scene. In this case I'm using some F-16 Thunderbirds and get it to a spot that, that we like. Then you hit escape. And then down here you're going to click on camera. And what that'll do is that'll give you control of the camera. And you can move it around. You can move it up and down with the Q and Z keys. All the controls are all explained all around the the edges of the screen up here, so I won't go into all of that. All right, so we'll just line up a shot here. Uh, something like that, maybe. Then you can press H to take all that stuff off the screen and press the print screen button and that'll save it to clipboard. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open paint then you're going to hit control V and that'll paste the image into paint. Then go to the uh, top menu, click on view, zoom out so that the picture fits onto the screen and we have to resize the picture so it's at a 2 to 1 ratio. What that means is twice as wide as it is tall. And specifically the size that we're shooting for is 1024 by 512. And if you look down at the bottom, you'll see that this picture is currently 1920 by 1080. Now the number you may get uh, might be a little bit different, and it's probably going to depend on what you have your... Uh, computer screen resolution set to. So now you're going to go to the top of the screen, click Home, and Resize. Check Pixels. Make sure Maintain Aspect Ratio is checked, and it is. And we're going to set the horizontal value to 1024. That's the width we wanted at, and that'll reduce the vertical. Uh, dimension. Now as long as we're above, at 512 or above, uh, we're good because that allows us room to edit and right now we're at 576. If it's below 512 it'll still work but your image won't fit uh, quite as well. Then uh, click OK. Go back to the screen, click on view and zoom in so that we can see the picture a little bit better. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bottom of the picture, grab the little grip. We're going to drag that up to about five, oh, 540. Now there's no grip at the top so that we can drag it down. So what we have to do is rotate the picture. So you go to Home, Rotate, Rotate 180 degrees. Now you've got a grip down here and you drag that until that bottom number says 512. So you see now this bottom number scrolled to 512. So it's 1024 by 512. Go back to rotate. Rotate 180 degrees and there's your picture resized to what we need. Once you have the picture resized and rotated you're going to click on File, Save As, JPEG and then you're going to browse to your Missions folder and that's probably going to be in your documents folder and under ARMA 3 other profiles for this um, Lone Conspirator Missions Thunderbirds, the mission that we saved it as uh, and Pictures and we're going to save it as Image 2 save it I already had a copy in there, so I'm just going to copy over that. And now the image is saved in your mission folder and should load up once we uh, start the mission.
Now we'll go back into our text editor, in this case Notepad++, and we'll change the name to Image2, like we just saved. File, Save, and we'll go back into Arma, also click Save. and click preview and there's our picture simple as that and so now we have our load screen set up here's the title we put in Thunderbirds I actually adjusted it uh, to Thunderbirds Go by Lone Conspirator that's the author this is the picture that we put in that we just captured and then any message here is uh, this can be several lines long but keep in mind that this screen sometimes is up briefly, so they, uh, the player may not have a lot of time to read this. So keep that in mind when you put, the, put that in there. You may not want to put too much information. Okay, so that's it for the load screen commands for description.ext. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please add them below, and uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions. So the next video that I am going to work on is uh, one that will add a radar to your screen through the description.ext. And you can see it right there on the right. And it's a way of letting you know where your teammates are. Fall back. Solid copy. So now I, I can't see them because I turned away, but if you look at the radar, you see they're all falling into formation. This way you can keep track of your team when you're... Uh, playing without having to constantly look around and see where they're at. So um, click on the link on the box that just popped up to uh, see that video and how to add this to your game. Um, I'll be working on another description.ext video for some more commands real soon, so uh, hit that subscribe button and please come back and check those out. And again, if you have questions, post them below. Thanks for joining me. Take care.